Hey guys, how's it going? Today, let's take a look at the all-new 2011 BMW 335 IS convertible. And this is going to be a full, in-depth tour of the 335. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at Hendrick BMW in Charlotte, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up, let it run. This vehicle also comes equipped with a smart key access system, allowing keyless entry. If you notice, the vehicle is unlocked at the moment. There's a little pad right on top of the handle here. Just touch your finger to it. That locks the vehicle. After waiting a second, just tug on the handle. It's the Alpine white exterior with cream beige Dakota leather interior. Also has push button ignition. Just put your foot on the brake, hit the button to start. One of the first notable features on the interior of the 335 IS is this larger, more robust steering wheel. Perforated leather with side bolster and extensions. This vehicle also comes with the 7 speed dual clutch automated manual transmission. All controlled here. Park. To engage, press this unlock button here. Pull down into drive. By using the paddles, it automatically overrides the automatic mode to put you into manual mode. Then back into automatic mode, put it over to the left, and put it in sport mode. It'll change the different times of the shifting to give you a simulation of actual manual shifting. Push up one time for neutral. And push the unlock button again. Push all the way up, and that puts you in reverse. That's the parking sensors active. And back into drive park and there you go perforated leather stitched handbrake and let's go and turn on the headlights fog lights there are automatic lights as well as the hazards all four windows are fully automatic and let's check out the exterior shall we The vehicle beep inside letting you know that it's lost detection of the proximity key fob. Adaptive xenon headlamps with LED halo rings. The flicker is just a trick of the camera. Also comes with automatic high beam control. Front and rear parking assist. You notice the special body kit that comes on all 335 IS models. Retractable headlight washers. Shadow line exterior trim. And we'll go ahead and put the top down. Just press down on the button in the middle. The 335 IS stands apart from the regular 335 by its sport tuned suspension, as well as these larger 18 inch alloy wheels on performance Michelin tires, LED turn signal accents,
does have automatic rain sensing windshield wipers, LED tail lamps, your rear parking sensors, sport tuned exhaust, and a rear diffuser styled bumper. LED license plate and lights. And let's go ahead and pop the hood. The 335 IS retains the twin turbocharged 3 liter 24 valve inline 6 cylinder engine with variable valve timing as well as direct injection produces 320 horsepower at 5900 rpm and 332 foot pounds of torque at 1500 rpm it's got a 16.1 gallon fuel tank with an estimated miles per gallon rating on premium gas of 18 city 26 highway Another neat feature is a temporary overboost function that allows the torque to be temporarily boosted to about 370 foot-pounds at full throttle. Beautiful interior color scheme. Nicely built and tight interior. All padded, stitched leather door paneling and armrest, fold out storage container, all of your power windows, power mirrors, power locks are located up on the dash. It's a fully powered leather bucket seat, heavy side bolstering, two person memory for the driver's seat, as well as four way lumbar adjustment. Also, this button right here controls the degree of angle of your side bolstering whether you want them hugging them tighter or a little bit looser and a manual leg extender the M Sport package all-weather floor mats aluminum sport pedals it does have a tilt steering wheel and let's go ahead and see how she sounds Quite a unique exhaust note. Let's go ahead and put the top back up. I went ahead and filmed the tour of the other side of the vehicle and that side of the back seat with the top down so you can get the different perspective. It's going to shut it up. Has a dual zone automatic climate control. Different zones, three stage heated seats for the driver and passenger, automatic, recycling, front defrost, rear defrost, and AC. The iDrive Telemetrics multimedia interface has also been revised for 2011. Instead of having your options in each of the four quadrants of the screen, it's all in list format. All controlled still by the little wheel and touchpad in the middle. Also standard HD radio. Now 
now as far as going back to your main screen, just click the wheel left until you come to the main menu. Scroll down to navigation, click down, and you have your different information options. Real-time traffic updates. As you can see, the screen is in two modes right now, showing the navigation and where you are on the map. If you go through your different options, you can click on interactive map, it'll bring you a full widescreen display, which is also a nice touch. BMW Assist, which is a complimentary system for BMW owners, concierge service, storing messages, roadside assistance, service, so on and so forth. Vehicle information. hands-free Bluetooth telephone, you also do have a hard drive based system, USB compatibility, iPod input, hands-free Bluetooth streaming, and standard auxiliary input. I also want to make mention too for the iDrive system, all of these buttons here, instead of having to click the wheel back and forth to go back to the main menu, you can always select the menu that you want. Telephone, nav, radio, so on and so forth, and back, vehicle options for the system. Very neat system. Different preset stations, CD player, park and assist controls, one touch sport mode, spring tightening suspension. Right here you can put an integrated cell phone through BMW, your auxiliary input, power outlet, SOS, emergency roadside assistance through BMW, three garage home link controls, auto dimming rear view mirror and compass. The vehicle also comes equipped with a voice command system alongside the hands-free telephone and radio controls. Radio. Radio. Satellite radio. Satellite radio. Voice commands. Voice commands. Change list view, category set channel, replay time shift. Favorites, manage favorites, or jump. So pretty much all of the voice commands are actually listed in the system as well as your owner's manual. This takes you to your CD DVD player, recycling, auto recycling for your air conditioning, cruise control, as I said, automatic rain sensing wipers. Now it's going to shut it off. Check out the back seat. Power sliding function. Hop on in on the other side. Fairly decent amount of space. Back seats do fold by these little buttons here. And it opens up a little pass through that you can open up from right in there. You have limited trunk space with the convertible model. You do have a little bit of space down there though for small items.
Same power adjustments for the passenger seat. One thing nice about the 335 convertible that I've noticed is the back of the seats are actually cut out to incorporate a little bit of extra leg room. Here's your vents, cup holders, storage, as well as a trunk pass through. Plenty of room at the top down for open top motoring. Integrated cup holders. Electronically opening glove box. Simply beautiful automobile. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour on the all-new 2011 BMW 335 IS Convertible. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more that came from. Take care everybody.